This week, the president, while recovering from COVID, told the American people not to be afraid of COVID, don't let it dominate your life. What's the message to Americans when we're hearing the president, seeing the president handle it this way, at the same time, state health officials here telling people to remain vigilant? What's the message to people? I'm afraid of COVID. I think everyone should be very concerned about COVID. Yeah, I, I completely disagree with that, that sentiment uh, that came out of the White House. I think it's, um, we're still very much in, in this. The COVID virus didn't get weaker. If anything, our immune systems are getting weaker, right? The COVID virus didn't go away. Its attack rate didn't drop. Its ability to infect uh, 100 people in a matter of an hour at a, at a close gathering setting, that hasn't deteriorated one bit. So why all of a sudden we'd be pulling back uh, on our messaging makes absolutely no sense. Um, here in New Hampshire, we keep that message elevated. We want people to wear their masks, social distance. It's just as dangerous, if not more, uh, now that we're entering that fall season. We were talking about back in June and, and July, we were talking about the, the numbers rising in the fall back then. Uh, so we've planned for this, we've anticipated, we've built our stockpiles, we've got our testing, we are ready, but make no mistake about it, numbers will go up, um, it's gonna be concerning, and we, are, we sh all should be concerned, and we should take that very seriously, not just for our own health and safety, but for those we interact with, our loved ones, our parents, the elderly, those with underlying health conditions. You walk into a store, you don't know if someone next to you has an underlying health condition, they have asthma, um, even something like obesity can be a very severe underlying health condition uh, with this, uh, or someone that's elderly. That's why it's so important to take that extra step back, to give someone their space, to make sure you're wearing your mask. It's just as dangerous today as it was uh, back in March. And when we didn't have the tools and resources necessarily, we saw the numbers really climb back in April, right? Our percent positivity at 15, 20 percent. But as we implemented a lot of the tools and resources, we got smart really about what we were doing and how we were doing it. Are we able to really allow things to flex open in a safe way, keep our numbers down, make sure the testing is there. So I just can't emphasize it enough. Um, we are very much still in this and will be for quite some time through Christmas, through the early part of next year. This is going to be with us. Nobody should think that it's, it's going away. And, um, you know, we have a, a very serious approach to it. It's, that has allowed us to be successful, and we're going to maintain that vigilance all the way through.